Hi my dear friends and welcome back to another video. In this update I want to share with you something very special. As you guys know on August the 25th we're gonna get the Luke Skywalker behind the scenes special of The Mandalorian Season 2. Well today we have a leaked image of a scene in that documentary of Mark Hamill himself holding Grogu. I'm elated with joy to see the original Luke Skywalker himself holding our favourite little green friend. Now the special that we're getting at the end of this month is a behind the scenes look of how they brought Luke back in CGI. But it may also reveal some new details for when we're going to see Luke Skywalker next after The Mandalorian Season 2. There have been plenty of rumours that he is going to appear in The Mandalorian Season 3, but The Book of Boba Fett is another option that could bridge the gap between War of the Bounty Hunters and The Mandalorian Universe. There is just something so special and unique about Mark Hamill himself holding Grogu, and it's both nostalgic and novel. I think it's because we all have images of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi of Luke Skywalker with the puppet of Yoda. This really took me by surprise and I love to see it. And I also hope that now that Lucasfilm have got Shah Mook on board for his amazing CGI work, that we are going to get a lot more Luke Skywalker going forward. I've said this so many times on the channel, but we really are in a golden age of Star Wars. If we are going to get more Luke Skywalker, then there are many questions that need to be answered. Is he going to meet Ahsoka Tano, the former Padawan of his father? Is he going to successfully train Grogu or does Grogu have a different path that he's going to go down? What will become of the new Jedi Academy? And how does all of this tie into the story of Din Djarin in The Mandalorian? Just like other fans, I don't know the answers to a lot of those questions, but that is the beauty and excellence of the work of Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni. I think the so-called Mandoverse or Filoniverse is much broader than anyone can anticipate. And we might even be getting extra spin-offs as time goes on. In the near future though, I'm really excited for the book of Boba Fett. That is arguably the biggest project of 2021 and I love the build up in the fall before big releases. In the upcoming weeks and months, we're going to have a lot more leaks and rumours and the merch is going to start popping as early as September. But going back to Luke Skywalker, a big question I have is what are they going to do with his character now? Will it all end the way that we see in the sequels or are there going to be multiple timelines that are explored in Ahsoka? Even the logo of the show seems seems to imply something to do with the world between worlds? Or is the answer to all of this much more crazy than we can anticipate? What is your reaction when you saw this picture? I want to hear all of your thoughts. But now my dear friends, we're going to move on and talk about The Mandalorian Season 3 because we do have another news update. This article is about Giancarlo Esposito, who we did speak about earlier. The title of the article is You're Going to See Me Kill This Baby, which is in reference to Grogu, Mandalorian Star Teases Season 3 Plot. So let's take a look at what this article article has to say. From the moment The Mandalorian Season 1 premiered in 2019, Star Wars fans and even non-Star Wars fans were absolutely captivated by Baby Yoda, the tiny foundling who is later called Grogu. Now two seasons into showrunner Jon Favreau and executive producer Dave Filoni's hit series, we've seen the 50-year-old infant called Grogu survive all sorts of adventures. Speaking to WRAL, Giancarlo Esposito shared the following, you're going to see me kill this baby, how about that? It's totally wrong but you know what, I got to hold up somewhere that I'm going to win. Obviously the actor was joking and while it seems highly unlikely that Gideon is actually going to get his hands on Grogu again, it's very clear that Giancarlo Esposito is looking forward to reprising the role of Moff Gideon in season 3. The Mandalorian saga is likely going to continue with the Darksaber story arc, with Pedro Pascal's Din Djarin holding the Darksaber, something which Bo-Katan really wants. Although previous rumours indicate that The Mandalorian Season 3 has already begun filming, it's only in pre-production. But things are really getting underway, with filming set to begin at the end of this month of August. Now something which is also being talked about at the moment is the fact that Pedro Pascal is going to join production much later. Giancarlo Esposito revealed that Pedro Pascal is not going to be needed for the first few weeks. He's obviously going to be in the show, but in Giancarlo Esposito's own words, he said we never have to wait for him. Along with other reports of production starting, it's also been suggested in the past that due to Pascal's involvement in other projects, The Mandalorian Season 3 would have to wait before starting production. But Giancarlo Esposito put those rumours to bed by saying that Pascal isn't needed at first and he is going to join much later. What happens now in The Mandalorian Season 3 is anyone's guess. The Season 2 finale of course saw the return of Mark Hamill's Luke, but Season 3 has been rumoured to be very different, with a story arc that is much less reminiscent of Season 2 
but far more like season 1, with character developments being first and foremost. In essence, we might not have as many cameos, but we are going to get one hell of a story. I can't wait for it and I'm sure you guys are very excited as well. As always guys, I'm super excited for all of these upcoming projects. We have The Bad Batch episodes 15 and 16 this month, we have Star Wars Visions in September, and then of course it's the build up to The Book of Boba Fett in December, the next chapter of The Mandalorian story. And remember guys, Robert Rodriguez said it's going to be all killer, no filler. So finally guys, we're going to be talking about Rogue One's Felicity Jones, the woman who played Jin Erso. She's weighed in and said she might return to the Star Wars franchise. Even though she died at the end of Rogue One, she could get more of a backstory. The article says, rebellions are built on hope. At least this refers to the ones that aren't built on endless fighting and absolutely hating the thing that they're fans of. Felicity Jones, who plays Jin Erso in Rogue One, has recently had a nice chat about the role and her future with the Star Wars franchise. Not only is she keenly aware of how beloved her character is amongst fans, but she's also very aware of how much they'd love to see her in another Star Wars movie. The only problem is, as I stated, Jin Erso dies at the end of Rogue One, so any possibility of her character's return would have to be a prequel. Interestingly enough, even though Jin Erso very clearly died at the end of Rogue One, she's not convinced. In a recent conversation with a Star Wars fan, the actress admitted that it didn't feel like she died. She appeared very good-natured about the whole thing, even if her reaction and Amina suggested that she didn't actually expect Jin Erso to survive. Out of both spin-offs of the Skywalker saga, Rogue One is by far the most beloved. To be honest guys, as much as I love Jin Erso and Felicity Jones, I don't see any space for her to return in the Star Wars universe. But I could be wrong, what do you guys think and what did you make of everything we spoke about in today's video? If you guys enjoyed this one, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and a huge welcome if you are, and also guys, if you're feeling generous, please consider becoming a patron, the link is in the description down below, or hit the join button to become a channel member. Otherwise my dear friends, this is where we part, and I'm Star Wars Meg, as always, wishing you all a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.